Octonauts and the Beluga Whales. Captain Barnacles to Shellington and Dashy. How's it going up there? Um, a bit slowly, Captain. This Arctic ice is so thick, it's taking our sonic slicer forever to cut through it. Almost. Just a little more. There! We made it through. We're heading up now to gather the ice samples, Captain. Huh? Huh. Just try to be quick. The hole you made in the ice will freeze over very fast and you won't be able to get back into the, um... Back into the water. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll be quick. Over and out. Who's making that music, Captain? I'm not sure, Quasi, but it certainly is making it hard to work. Let's investigate. <laughs> hey, so, me hearty. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you were so good at playing music. Thank you. This xylophone was a present from my Aunt Pepita. Well, you're certainly getting good, but, uh, Peso, do you think you could take a break so we can... This is Shellington calling the Octopod. Come in, Octopod. Barnacles here. Everything okay up there? Captain, we found another hole. Another hole in the ice? Yes, but that's not all. I'm sending a video through to you now, Captain. They're beluga whales, Captain. Yes, I see. But uh, what are they doing? They appear to be trapped under the pack ice. They should be in open water. Can you ask them if they need help? I'll try, but belugas are very shy creatures. Wait, please! I'm Shellington, and this is Dashy. We are the Octonauts. We might be able to help you. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. What are you doing all the way out here, under the pack ice? The water froze over us. We have to stay near this hole. But why do you need the hole? Have to breathe. Have to breathe. But why can't you just swim back out to the open water, where there isn't any ice? Too far away. Can't swim that far without breathing. Have to stay near the hole. Shellington, what do you make of this? The belugas are trapped. There's ice all around them and only a small hole where they can come up to breathe. And this hole is starting to freeze over too. It's getting smaller and smaller. We have to rescue those belugas right away. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to lead the belugas back to open water where there's no ice. But we need something that can cut a path through the ice so that they can breathe along the way. Yeah, what about the sonic slicers? They're too slow. We need to act fast before the beluga's Whoa. breathing hole freezes Whoa. over. I think I have just the thing, Cap. Okay, Tweet. Let's see if your icebreaker attachment works. The ice isn't breaking. Pack 
ice is really thick. It takes a lot to break it. Open water. Now, if I can just get those belugas to follow me. Belugas? This path will lead you to open waters. Have to stay near the hole where it's safe and quiet. Belugas, please follow me before the ice freezes over. Oh, no. oh dear, this is not good at all. Hmm. The belugas don't seem to want to leave their breathing hole. If only they would follow Captain Barnacles. <gasps> I've got it! Fish biscuits! Huh? What's your plan, Quasi? Well, I reckon these belugas must be getting pretty hungry by now. So I brought them a little fish biscuit snack. Good to see you soon. Belugas, follow me! It's fish biscuit feast time! Yeah! Yes, it's working! Now shiver, whiskers. Those little fishies think this is food for them. Go away! Go on! Go! Go! Leave it alone! Belugas, follow me! It's dinner time! Too many scary noises have to stay by the hole where it's safe. Why aren't they following me? Belugas, like all whales, are scared of loud, strange noises. So, the sound of the gup sea cracking the ice and the sound of, well, quasi, probably scared them. How can we show them that this path to open water is safe? Professor Inkling, any ideas? I know exactly what sounds will make the belugas follow you. An old whale song recording. They'll hear their own sounds and follow right along. It's working! <laughs> oh, oh, it, uh, oh. oh, my. We're losing them again. We've got to do something, Captain. The path is already starting to freeze over. That noise they make, that sounded a little bit like... Peso's music. Peso, we need you and your xylophone out here right away. Captain, are you sure this is the best time for music? This is exactly the time for music. Your music. Captain, I'm ready to play. All right, Peso, it's showtime. Xylophone playing sounds just like the Beluga song. You have to stay close to the hole where it's safe. But those sounds are so nice. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. It's okay. We can breathe along this path. If we follow the nice sounds down the path, we won't be stuck here anymore. Here we are, open water. Great work, Peter. Thank you, Octonauts. 
Sorry we didn't follow you at first. We belugas are always a bit shy around creatures we don't know, and all those loud noises scared us. Well, now we know each other. And we love your music. It sounds just like ours. Come on, everyone join in. Two, three, four. Ah, I don't know how to sing like a beluga. Oh, come on, Quasi. It's easy. Goodbye, Octonauts. Thanks again. Goodbye, Belugas. Safe journey now. Goodbye. <laughs>